Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkina. You're watching Daily Financial News on Insta TV. At the beginning of the week, investors turned their attention not only to the situation in Greece, but also in China. Negative outcome of the referendum in Greece made the market participants avoid risks. As a result, demand for the Japanese yen as a safe haven currency has increased significantly. Before the opening of the European session, the dollar-yen pair lowered to the level of 122.20, the support level moved to 121.90 and the resistance level to 123.75. According to the forecast from analysts at Morgan Stanley, in a short-term prospect, the yen will go on rising despite the fact that it is considered to be the most overvalued currency among majors. Traders should also focus on economic data from the U.S. Last week, the U.S. statistical offices published positive data. It is possible that the positive tendency will remain during this trading session. The U.S. dollar will become a worthy counterpart to the Japanese yen to hinder its exchange rate. Governor of the Bank of Japan is quite satisfied with the situation as he is preoccupied with the national currency growth. Today, Haruhiko Kuroda once again mentioned the central bank's intention to reach the inflation rate of 2%. The regulator will continue the quantitative easing program till the result is achieved. In addition to the Greek situation, investors are buying safe haven assets on the background of a bursting bubble on the Chinese stock market. The Shanghai Composite Index is rapidly losing ground. On the weekend, the People's Bank of China provided brokers with necessary funds for margin financing. The news had a short-term support. The index climbed by 7.8 percent, but then it corrected. According to the results of the Asian trading session, the index jumped by 3.8 percent. And this was Daily Financial News on Insta TV. Stay tuned.